Okay, so let's do some examples with uh, even and odd properties for trig functions. So example one, let's say we want to evaluate uh, the sine of negative pi over 4. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the even odd properties and then we're going to look at a unit circle to see uh, that it's actually okay to do it like that. So sine of uh, negative pi over 4, remember sine of negative theta, so we talked about this in the last video, sine of negative theta equals negative sine of theta, okay? So sine of negative pi over 4 equals negative sine of pi over 4, okay? And what is the sine of pi over 4? Well, let's go back to our unit circle. Okay, so this is one of these special angles. We uh, probably do want to have that memorized. So sine of pi over 4. Here's pi over 4 right here. Remember, sine is the y-coordinate. Okay, sine is the y-coordinate. Uh, the y-coordinate is root 2 over 2. So this is going to be negative root 2 over 2. So this is negative root 2 over 2. Or you could say negative 1 over root 2 um, if you are so inclined. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter, you know, either way. Um, just depends on how you have to answer it. But uh, anyway, negative root 2 over 2, or to simplify it a little more, negative 1 over root 2, unless if you have to rationalize the denominator, or if you really want to, then you'll answer like this. Um, anyway, so that's, you know, it really is that simple using the even odd property. So they might seem kind of weird at first that you can move around the minus signs like this. But again, don't think of this as pulling out the minus sign or factoring, because that's really not what it is. It's just uh, how odd functions work. Okay, sign is an odd function we talked about in the previous video. Anyway, let's. Um, look at the unit circle and see what this really means. Okay, So negative pi over 4, where would that angle be? Well, if positive pi over 4 is up here, okay, here's uh, 0, positive pi over 4 is up here, negative pi over 4 is going to be the same size in the opposite direction. Okay, So negative pi over 4 is going to be in the clockwise direction, the same distance, which would put us right here. Well, hey, that's the exact same place as 7 pi over 4. What's the sign of that? The sign is the y-coordinate, which is negative root 2 over 2. Well, hey, that's the answer we got here. Okay. So I just want to point out that uh, if you look at a unit circle and think about it like that, it is going to work out to be the same way. So it's okay to use these even odd properties as long as you use them correctly, which means remember that sine is odd, so make sure you do negative sine theta. Okay. Sine of negative theta is the same as negative sine theta. Okay, so that's uh, example one with the even odd properties. Let's do another one real quick. So we'll do example two here. Okay, so uh, example two, so just another quick evaluation. Uh, example two is going to be a secant of uh, negative five pi over three. Okay. So remember secant, uh, secant is an even function, right? Remember secant of negative theta is a uh, secant of theta. And again, it might seem kind of weird that we can just do that, but that's how even functions work. They're kind of nice like that. So secant of negative 5 pi over 3 uh, is actually the same thing as just the secant of 5 pi over 3. Okay. So 5 pi over 3 is one of the nice angles um, that we do kind of maybe want to memorize stuff about. But until then, if we don't have that kind of thing memorized, um, well, first of all, I mean, even so, you might not be memorizing secants, but just know that uh, secant is 1 over cosine. So this is 1 over cosine of 5 pi over 3. Okay. And what is the cosine of 5 pi over 3? Well, 5 pi over 3, where's that? Uh, that's right here. Here's 5 pi over 3. The cosine of that is 1 half. Okay. Cosine is the x-coordinate, so the cosine is 1 half. So this is uh, 1 divided by 1 half. Okay. If you divide by 1 half, you're multiplying by 2. So 1 divided by 1 half is 1 times 2, which is 2. Okay. So that's the answer here. Secant of negative 5 pi over 3 is uh, 2. So again, let's um, think about this. So if we start here, go all the way around this 5 pi over 3, uh, let's draw a unit circle over here to make this a little bit easier on us. So we'll analyze this another way, just like we did with example 1. So here's our x-axis, y-axis. Let's say we have our uh, unit circle here. Yikes. Um, so 5 pi over 3 is going to be about down here, right? So if we start here, uh, go around like that, uh, here's 5 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3. Okay. Now, what would negative 5 pi over 3 look like? Negative 5 pi over 3 is going to be the exact same size, but in the opposite direction. Now, since that's going to be kind of a mess um, to have it all together, I'll do it separately over here. And again, I just want to show you that it is okay to use these even odd properties, because if you think about it a different way, 
you'll get the same answers. So this is positive 5 pi over 3. Uh, negative 5 pi over 3 opens the same size, okay, the same kind of like rotation, the same distance in the negative direction. So here we went uh, 1, 2, 3, and a little bit some quadrants there, right? So if we go the same thing in the negative direction, 1, 2, 3, and a little bit some quadrants. So uh, here's negative 5 pi over 3. Okay, so open this far to get positive 5 pi over 3, open the same distance in the negative direction to get negative 5 pi over 3. Okay? So another way to think about that is if you don't like that, well, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. Or if you start and go negative, negative pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, negative 4 pi over 3, negative 5 pi over 3. So you can think of it like that also. But either way, negative 5 pi over 3 puts you about here. So, um, but notice, uh, negative 5 pi over 3, that's the same thing as pi over 3, okay? Negative pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, negative 4 pi over 3, negative 5 pi over 3, puts you in the exact same spot as pi over 3. And what's the uh, x-coordinate there? The x-coordinate there is 1 half, okay? Which means uh, the secant there is going to be 2. Because remember, secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. And cosine is the x-coordinate, the x-coordinate is a half, so the cosine is a half, so the secant is the reciprocal, which is 2. Okay, so you can think of it like that. So if you forget about the even odd properties, if you just go that route, you can say secant, so let's write down what we just said, uh, secant of negative 5 pi over 3 equals 1 over the cosine of negative 5 pi over 3. Okay. And um, when we looked at the unit circle, we saw, oh, hey, negative 5 pi over 3 puts us at the same point as pi over 3, which we'll talk about that in more detail in a later video. But anyway, cosine is the x-coordinate, right? Cosine is the x-coordinate, so what we really have is 1 divided by the x-coordinate negative 5 pi over 3. Well, negative 5 pi over 3 puts us in the same point as pi over 3. The x-coordinate is a half, so this is 1 divided by a half, which is just 2. So think of it just strictly in terms of the unit circle, um, or think of it with the even-odd properties, uh, and you'll get the same answer either way. And that's kind of a common thing in trig, is there's going to be a few different ways to approach a problem. Um, and just no matter how you approach it, you'll get the right answer as long as you do it correctly. It's just some ways might be easier than others, and it might be hard to tell right off the bat. But we'll talk about uh, that in more detail later when we do more complicated examples and things like that. So that's example two with the even odd properties.